Our beliefs shape our reality and if our beliefs are wrong they can easily lead us to the wrong place. It doesn't matter what you believe what matters is the truth. Our beliefs can be multi-layered there are beliefs that are on the surface in which we choose ourselves and there are deep unconscious beliefs which we unconsciously realize and it is very important to realize and identify them in time. In 2002, Dr. Eric Ritter and the Discovery Channel journalist who interviewed him stood in the water where many sharks swam. Dr. Eric Ritter had studied sharks for many years, he had dedicated his life to them, he believed and claimed that sharks never attack for no reason. This is what the doctor said, there are no dangerous sharks, there are dangerous situations. Once mankind can get rid of the fear of sharks, then sharks can be protected. You can see that while the doctor is talking about how sharks are peaceful and never attack for no reason, one of them swims up and bites off part of his leg. If the bite had come a little higher, the doctor would hardly have survived. We can assume that the doctor has loved sharks since childhood and just wanted humanity to become less aggressive towards them, or subconsciously he wanted them to love him back. We can assume that, the belief that was on the surface, sharks are safe and I will prove it. The true belief that was inside, sharks are incredibly dangerous and I'm scared, but if I prove otherwise I'll be safe. A message of peace and trust is how Italian artist Pippa Bacca labeled her hitchhiking bride's journey through the Middle East. The idea of the performance was to hitchhike through 11 countries in which there have recently been military conflicts in a bride's wedding dress, showing that women mothers of these lands are united and in solidarity in their feminine mission. The image of the bride, the image of love, purity, innocence and life is contrasted with the image of war and conflict. After traveling through the Balkans she and a companion arrived in Turkey, where the two girls parted to meet again in Beirut. But it never happened because on the way from Turkey to Beirut, Pippa Baca was raped and killed by a Turkish laborer who took her for a ride. Here is what the artist says in her interview. It's a way to give trust to others to prove, and we hope to prove it, that when you give trust you can only get good things in return. Her sister later said that not everyone is trustworthy, and that turned out to be true. We can assume, for example, that the belief that was on the surface is, all people are good if you treat them well and show it, and if you are good and I prove it. The true belief could be, there are many bad people in the world and dangerous countries, women suffer, but if I prove otherwise I will be safe. Perché è un modo per affidarsi al prossimo per dimostrare, e speriamo di dimostrarlo, che dando fiducia si riceve solo, solo bene. In the spring of 2024 in Kazakhstan, a criminal case against Bishimbeyev who killed his common-law wife, was considered in an open trial. Each court session was broadcasted on the internet and many people from different countries watched the process. At the trial it was found out that the defendant went to a psychologist and after passing the tests he was diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. Based on the messages of his common-law wife she knew about it, as they visited the psychologist together. Moreover she started to study the issue when she found out that he was a narcissist, but in the end this is what she says in the message addressed to her future murderer. Message to common-law husband from Sultanat readout by the judge. 
И если честно, я уходила, потому что начиталась всего, что нарцисс всегда будет вас обесценивать. За романтичным периодом опять настанет расшатывание. Проанализировав наш брак, я поняла, что все по кругу происходило. Докажи мне, что это не так, что ты можешь любить, быть верным, честным, заботливым. Я докажу тебе, что буду хорошей женой и сделаю тебя самым счастливым. Я не хочу верить этим статьям и этим книгам. Я хочу верить тебе. Хочу оправдать доверие друг друга. I don't want to believe these articles and these books. I want to believe you. But as we remember from past history, not everyone is trustworthy. We can assume that surface belief was, he loves me and I will prove it. And the true belief could be, he is a dangerous monster, but if I prove that he loves me, he will not hurt me. None of the victims are to blame for what happened to them. All the blame lies with the aggressors. However, it is important to learn to think critically and validate information so that our beliefs are not based on unconscious defensive reactions of our psyche, illusions or childhood traumas, but on real facts and verified data, which in the long run will help us make more informed and accurate decisions. It doesn't matter what you believe, what matters is what is true.